、で次回予告ということになってます、はい、では<笑> FZ は集大成でいっぱい喋ったのであ英語の方こうなってます、はい、これも,もう使い回しのフリップですなるほどなんかちょっといろいろあって。FZ なんでまさかのフォーメーションで、あの、全ための方に、本当に来ていただいてありがとうございます。あのちょっと前回、あの僕、寂しいかもしれんから、近隣の方、まあ、ちょっと乱暴な話ですけど、岐阜県およびその隣接県の方、来てくださいってお願いしてたんですけど、すごい遠くから。まあ、それだけが私のステージの出るのだけが目的でもないと思うんですけどあの来ていただいてお声がけいただいた方だけでも大阪からとかね横浜から来ていただいた方とかあと岡山から来ていただいた方とか岡山から来ていただいた方っていうのはあ,ありがとうございます隣接県そうですね隣接県って言ってもね岐阜県が広くて隣の県そうなんです石川県もねスーパー林道がね通れなかったらしくって、はい、そうですね他のメーカーさんもですよね私もあの隣がえっとあれケムコさんでしたっけのブースであのちょっとゲーム見てましたけど<笑>、はい、ありがとうございますああそうですね私あのブースの前にいたんであの結構声かけていただけたんで,すよで、えっと、ゲームのなんかあの FZ とか私有していただいた意見とかねあの DLC セット級の R タイプファイナルのその辺もこういろいろ意見いただけたんで、はい、すごいなんかバタバタしてますね、はい、大阪も近所だぞまだそうか大阪からだとどうなんですかね、新快速で、米原でって感じなんですかね。はい、すいませんね。はい、イーティングランチ。はい、はい、はい、はい。ね、いいはい、準備してから出遅れました。あ大丈夫です。私もちょっとあのテンションが高い岐阜橋まで降りてそこから見えてつかそうですねそうですねはいあそうなんです写真そうですね写真なんか僕撮るのに困るなとかいう、はい、反動が前回えらいマイペースだった反動がでは、えっと、はい、すみませんね、ちょっと巻きが出てるのとカンペが、カンペの字が下手すぎて読めないんですけど、なんかね、なんかね、向こうを映してほしい。あ、埼玉です。改札しだす。すいません。ではこちらこそ。はい。ではまず二点五。いやか、ちょっとね、これ本当にグッチっていいですか、ね。もうカンペの字が下手すぎて、こっちの方が面白い。Go ahead and calm down. Let me collect myself. I'm gonna have a sip of tea. Everybody, please take a sip. あの、take a sip of your favorite beverage. お茶とコーヒー。皆さんも飲みながらやってください。はい、このグダグダ感を通し通訳されてます<笑>、はい。カンペの文字みたいって言ってます。Apologies, hello for those of you just joining the NIS America stream.、Uh, そもそも we are doing a live translation of Granzella's latest stream. We did have some technical difficulties which appear to be resolved, so I'm going to jump right back in. Apologies for that. Enjoy the show. 土曜日だけど、有給取っておられる方もいらっしゃるって、まあ、その仕事によりますもんね。All right. Apologies. 
Our time final, 2.5. October, latest news. We're at 2.5 now. Sorry about that. The title, 2.5. I mean, some people might be wondering, is that even a thing? <laughs> Do your best, translate. Dominic. <laughs> so. I did say that there was something I wanted to explain a little while ago regarding R-Type Final 2. Uh, it is 2.5 now, and regarding that, so talking about like the direction we plan on going, we do want to talk to you about the schedule, and we will be adding multiplayer stages. Right now, the multiplayer stages can only be played by one person, but eventually six people, up to six people, will be able to play. We will have a six-player mode, along with global rankings. So, as far as playable ships and extra stages, uh, that's going to continue into next year. We will keep adding those things. So, talking about the new title, R-Type Final 3 Evolved, so, the first thing we want to make clear, we are not going to stop or take attention away from R-Type R-Type Final 2.5 for R-Type Final 3 Evolved. We've been, we released this a year and a half ago, and we're considering it a platform. To us, it's a platform, and we will keep developing it. So please, don't misunderstand. To put it, on, to put it another way, maybe you can think of it as a separate line from our type Final 3 Evolved. But we will keep updating it. Eventually, it will be updated to our type Final 3. And we even have stage R2.0 prepared. We got more ships planned. And there will be more. We will be adding more. And here's the English, that information in English for you. Next. Well, we'll focus on the now. We'll focus on what we're right now. So, as far as improvements and such, we will keep that up. It's part of our internal flow already. We have no intention of changing it. So, let's talk update 1.4.2. Yes, 1.4.2. Not 2. We're sorry. Not 2.0. Sorry about that. Your apologies. But late October, which we're in, or early November, that's when we plan to start release. Now, as for the content of the update, there's a lot of little things going into it. And there's a lot of little things that we want to adjust. Like what's written here is uh, the slot number of slots you have to create original courses is going to be raised from 5 to 10. And there was some, there was some things in, involving the UI where you would have to go back to the menu to play the multiplayer stage if you were playing alone. That stuff's been fixed, so it should be a smoother experience. I'll explain more about it afterward. And the multiplayer stage uh, support. So we are coming upon a year and a half of our type final two. So what year 1.5 of our type final 2.5. And we'll be adding uh, 12 astrology signs as far as uh, <laughs> So here's the English.
あ,あそうか骨に7つの傷を持つ北斗の剣みたいなライブ So for now, your astrological signs should be included. All of them are included. Hopefully, all of your signs are in there. I know mine is. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. Hi. So. Regarding the update, that's about all the information we have to share right now. So, moving on to the next topic Stage Pass 3, DLC Set 9. So, the Stage Pass is paid DLC. The first. Well, the second had seven stages. Basically, each pa、uh, each set has three stages, and that's how we've released it so far. Now, this is stage pass number three, and we're going to be releasing DLC set nine, and this is、uh, Top Keratops. Gomon Top Keratops. So, this is slated for release in late October, which is now. Now, for Japanese consoles, the release is already planned and we'll be giving you that information. We expect this to be a. We think of this as a critical juncture, these stages. The release of these. So we've kind of created these homage stages as a way to pay, pay respect, pay homage to the predecessors. So we're going to go ahead and watch this without any interruption from me. What you just saw was the DLC sets slated for release in late October to early November. So, next, I'm going to go ahead and give my own. We're going to watch the same thing again, and I'm going to explain a little bit. Think of it as a director's cut. A little bit like a horror game, but I'm going to go ahead and narrate. So, here we're looking at the first stage pass with all seven stages and stage pass two. And now, the latest stage pass three, the last set. And that is all of what we have out. Which will consist of the original R type stage four. And stage six from Delta. And Golmon Dub Keratops. Now, this one, 
is made of image fight stage 7 and stage 8 put into one combined into one stage There's a lot of trash mobs that come up in Image Fight. And so, there you have it. I guess you really didn't... You didn't need my explanation, but... There you have it. All right. Now, about the content of what you just saw. So that's how it is. So, as I mentioned, it's R-Type Stage 4. We really tried to express it as best as we could. And here's Delta Stage 6. And Image Fight. 7 and 8. This is kind of cool. They're connected. Stage 7, once you defeat the boss of Stage 7, it's kind of treated like a mid-boss. And the music even changes like you would hope. So, we think it's a pretty neat set. And on top of that, so for those of you who have DLC 8, the one before, not 9, the latest release, but the one before that, if you have that, then you play DLC set 9, well, it's not really hidden, but there is a little bit of a, there's a junction, but if you don't have DLC 8, you'll see a gray crystal. But if you have DLC 8, you'll see a purple and an orange crystal. And when the orange one... Oh, thank you, right. Uh, thank you. I agree with you. So thank you. Ah, but, well, we have a video of this hidden stage. It's not hidden anymore. I gave it away. So if you, if you install DLC set 8, then you'll get to see... Well, then we have stage Z7.1. So, we're not trying to bully you into buying DLC set 8. Please don't misunderstand. <laughs> you were kind of, the thing is, we're kind of reusing some of our assets, so we didn't want to call it a separate stage. But if you have stage eight, or set 8, then you'll see it. So, then you, then you have the middle delta stage. Uh, and depending on region, could be a little bit different. Well, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. And? Ah, yes, wise. Ah, wise. So, now as for the release date, it's for Japanese consoles. PS4 and Xbox. Oh, thank you. Xbox Ellison, thank you. You say you're gonna cry. Thank you. Uh, the 29th Saturday. Today, it's today. I had to re I couldn't believe it. Today, 3 p.m. in Japan should be released. The Switch. We're sorry, it's going to take it till next week, maybe middle of the night on Wednesday. And the DLC. I mean, there are some very specific parts updated with the DLC and some fixes that went into it. We're really sorry that we had to put fixes in, but we definitely want you to give it a try. And in the last DLC, there were there, there was an issue where some things didn't work. 
and some things that were a little bit unstable, all of that has been fixed. So, sorry about that, but please check it out. I'm sorry about the bugs. Now, for the, for the Japan region, in Japan time, it's written in English, but it's the information for the Japan release. So for people watching it on the English stream, you might be like, this isn't super useful. Uh, now for the PC version on Steam, it'll be updated next week. In Japan, it'll be Wednesday, Thursday. Third, the third. Thank you, Abanjos. Thank you. We're thankful to you. Thank you. So. Oh, I will confirm that. Did we need to release English info? I think so. Apologies, but there you have it. Now. We will continue to develop and add more content, so please stick around for that. And last time, 2.0, we talked about that. The next update, we plan on focusing on the multiplayer functionality. And player ships will also be added. As a regular update, we're going to add the ships and the fourth ship that is thanks to crowdfunding. Can I, am I, can I talk about this? Well, there's a lot of DLC ships. So I'll talk about the free ones. あの、<笑> そう、4番目の本当にだすんだすごいの。そうなんですよ。僕もね、あれどれか1個を作るつもりだったんですけど、なんか。そう、within the so, they look a little bit new, but don't misunderstand. These are not the new ships. Look like the 11K? R104 might also be changed. Sorry about that. So, about R104? Yeah, we think we'll change it. So, blue color, white color. Sorry about that. And with that, oh, wait a minute. Dan san. The plan is to release everything at the same time. It's just that on Grandzilla's side, our side, the timing wasn't perfect. Uh, so there were some trouble between us and the, and the publishers also struggle a little bit so things but things are back on track and that will take place on April Fools of next year oh so we're getting some pretty specific feedback from YouTube. I don't know what you're talking about, was one of the comments. I don't know what we're supposed to do about that, so we're just going to uh, move forward. Oh, and the sale. 
あこれはセールの I guess people don't really care about the sale. Most of you might already have the game, so it might not be the most interesting. We just did have a Nintendo Switch sale,、uh, and PlayStation 4 has a sale. The, whole, the main game, but not only the main game, Stage Passes 1 and 2 also, became,、uh, also joined the sale for 40% off on Japan time. The, And the sale will, will last until the 18th Japan time. So please pick them up if you haven't. And. Uh oh, something changed? Can we go back? Uh oh. Steam sale. About that. Uh oh, how long is the Steam sale in Japan? Until、uh, November 1st, 2 a.m., middle of the night. PVT? I'm not sure what, what you mean. Do you mean. Ah, PDT, you mean the time zone? Uh, don't laugh, I'm asking. I'm seriously asking. I might seem like I'm a bit conceited, but you guys should feel sorry for me. This isn't easy. Next, you say. Okay, I'm sorry. For me, I'm such a sad character. I'm going to have a little more coffee. Next, item number two Project FZ. Now, some of you are going to be wondering what the heck I'm talking about. Some of you might have no idea. So, next, let's talk about the content. Here it is Project FZ Formation Z. This game is a collaboration between City Connection and Granzella. We're co developing it. And here's that information in English. Here it is in English Kickoff. Thank you, above beer. Yeah. So, 1984. Jaleco released this as an arcade game. And then later it was on、uh, Nintendo and MSX. There was a. The ship could change into a robot and it was kind of a side scrolling shoot em up. Now it'll be City Connection and Grenzella making it now. We're, we're currently in development. Oh, you guys know your stuff. Yes. This came out before R Type. You're right. Oh, thank you. Please, yeah, pick it up if you feel, if you feel like it. Okay. Let's watch the trailer.、Uh, we were, there was a trailer released last week. Let's watch. Okay, there you go. 
はいご覧いただいて手ぐずらではないやつ<笑>それはそれはここで言ったら僕のうちのスタッフでもあのロボットに変形するやつって言ってね If I tell my staff about the fact that the ship transforms into a robot, then. R type in the Shima Show, so this is a little bit. They react in a certain way. You can jump high. And depending on how high you jump, you can see different, different parts of the stage. Like the weather under the clouds can be bad, or the weather will be different above the clouds, so you can see all of that when you jump. Well, we, we kind of started this talk with City Connection last year that we wanted them to make something like this. So it's currently in, in development. Next slide, please. Uh, City Connection will be the one to actually sell the title. But, so most of the release info will come from their social media, their websites, but Grenzella also will uh, be releasing information on our own channels periodically, here and there. Here and there. It's written on the slide? Nice. Is that something you write in the presentation slide? Well, anyway, please look forward to that. I wonder if the English slide has this word. Poroto means here and there. Oh, here we go. Now it actually turns. I hope Dominic's having a good time translating this. He's translating all of my weird stories. And I hope he knows what I'm talking about. Later, we're going to have to have a, a post mortem and discuss it. Okay, so the third title. Moving on to the third title. Let me look at the, the book here. The, my cheat sheet. Okay, so let's talk about R type tactics. R type tactics 1 and 2 Cosmos. This is the first information we've released uh, for October. Let's head on over there. Let's move on. Okay, so. It's a science fiction simulation game set in the R-Type universe. Well, we told you that we were going to be making it way back in May, June, July, August, September. And then after that, we didn't give any more updates. Uh, we didn't tell you the platforms. But now, we can tell you it will be on PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. This is basically all we can say right now. Uh, the flow is all messed up now. But anyway, when the PC details come out, uh, are decided, we will, of course, let you all know. And here's the English. Okay. Can't say it. <laughs> Yes. So these are the platforms. There could be more added at a later time. We can't say. I probably shouldn't say too much. I'm just not paying attention to that part and we're just, just trying to move the development forward. And the game? Well, 
The game released in 2007 by Irem Software on the PSP is R-Type Tactics. R -type, the next one was released in 2009, R-Type Tactics 2, Operation Bitter Chocolate, which we are remaking with the latest uh, technology. So, we can't just say that, that's probably not, that probably wouldn't be enough to release on its own, so we will be adding additional missions to the game. Today, honestly, we really wanted to show you a movie, uh, a preview movie, a trailer. We thought we could, but we're going to have to postpone that until next time. Now, what you're seeing in the picture, this is kind of our development plan so it could be different next time and here is the english slide summer of next year is our plan but we will try to get out as if, if we can get it any earlier, we will certainly try. Yes, 2. The ending of 2, there were some people who, who weren't fully satisfied with the ending. Will there be crowdfunding exclusive ships? Maybe. We'll actually go into more detail about that in the announcements portion. But yeah, the short answer is yes. So. Sorry, this is all the information we can share today. But now that we've gotten the big announcement out of the way, following follow-up announcements and information should be a lot easier to get to you. So, we, won't be, we don't plan on postponing it, we want to make sure we do it right, and now we've made it easier to get information straight to you, uh, so look forward to that. And here's the English slide. This is Gail Rose. This so it was this appeared in the background but well there was a lot of stuff appearing on the screen in that game back then and here we have Eclipse the Granzella military the, the rebel unit well look forward to that it's the line of ships from Cactic, uh, Tactics, and Gale Rose is included. Alright. Number four. Our Type 3 Evolved. This one. The Evolved part. I kept pronouncing it. E evolved. But... Okay, so to discuss it in a little more detail, this is probably the topic people are going to want to ask about. There's probably a lot of things that are unclear. So I'll explain. This is going to be the latest edition of our type that will be released on the PS5, our type Final 3 Evolved. And the 3, so we have our type Final 2. Now, when you apply all of the updates to that, it becomes our type Final 3. And the evolved part is on top of all of those updates. It's also made updated in the PS5 using the PS5 functionality and strength. Hold on one second. I forgot what I was supposed to explain. One sec. There's a lot to talk about. Hold on a minute. Ah, and here's the English. Okay, so I already 
mention this earlier in the stream, but R-Type Final 2 and 2.5 and the update to 3. We are going to continue developing and updating these. We will continue updating. Ah, and someone mentioned VR. Boy, you guys know know your stuff. Someone's worried that VR is uh, doesn't have a big enough presence in the market. Is it really okay to add that? Well, this year we will release this year or the, the update. We definitely want to make it this year. And as for Evolved, next year, March. Huh? I don't think I've told the development staff that yet. You guys, uh, maybe they're seeing it. They're probably mad about it. Uh, we do have a lot going on and a tight schedule. But as far as the content, it will contain R Type Final 2, all of the content from R Type Final 2. And on top of that, some additional stages. And. We kind of did some things on the PS5 version that were a little bit difficult to pull off on other platforms. So it's definitely optimized for PS5. And we're going to add a bit of a metaverse function or feature. There'll be lobby. It's kind of a lobby in a shared space where you can communicate with other players. Well, I say metaverse, but that's not necessarily clear. But if you think of PlayStation Home, I really enjoyed that. So I want to create something similar to that, where you can find people to play against or chat with people or, you know, do gestures to communicate and decide, let's do it. Let's compete. So it's a space where you'll be able to do that, and we're preparing that now. PS Home ended, which I really liked since I was back with Irem. I put efforts into that. And that kind of community, I really felt the pull of that. I really felt, the, felt that was an attractive feature. So I wanted to recreate that. And in PSVR 2, we'll add a free DLC update which uh, will let you watch the launch scene in VR and you can't do the shooting portion of the game in VR but the takeoff scene the launch scene we will add a mode where you, we are preparing a mode where you'll be able to experience that in VR and here's the English slide what, PlayStation R9? Oh, reminds me of R9. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yes. Well, we just want to try a variety of things. Oh. Oh, there are people who do seem to remember the PlayStation Home. That's cool. Yeah, the excitement of that, it's just kind of unforgettable for me. So I say metaverse, but it's basically a shared lounge that everybody can come in and we can do events, just like we, they did in PlayStation Home, like April 1st. We'll have, we want to do something like that, like April 1st will have its own special day and its own special plan and just add a bunch of new stuff to that so why is this ps5 only you might ask well for now the reason is xbox one and ps4 and nintendo switch steam as well the build for that we have that kind of thing in the build but
ですよね。で、プレイステーション5の方が、プレイステーション5の形にはなっていて、あくまでその PS4、you might be able to recreate this on PS4。So, I keep saying build, but that's not, I don't know if that's something that everybody understands. But basically, we're going to make the game's executable files, and we're going to use the features already built into the PS5. And As far as doing this outside of the PS5, we, do have, we don't have any definitive plans yet. We can't even say it's definitely going to appear on the other platforms. But we're not trying to hide anything. It's just, we just don't know right now. Uh, so for now, we can say PlayStation 5 build. Optimized for PlayStation 5,、uh, that's what we plan to release. It... Free update, that might be a little difficult. Oh, and about the save data. Someone's asking about the save data. I don't know if I can say this, but the save data, to be honest, we are, we are keeping it in mind. あんまりちょっと今言うっていいことかどうかセーブデータはね正直気にしてますね例えば任天堂スイッチから We need to consider those people who don't want to start everything from scratch again また最初から機体を全部作るんかっていうことに関しては何か配慮がいる So just like we're going to continue everything from 2.5 to 3 Well we're also not bullying anybody We don't want to bully anybody into purchasing this one either Only the people who want it should buy it Oh, the, the slides are flipping on their own. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and say it. So,、oh, here we have our, the ship coming, emerging from a waterfall. Now, not all of the additional DLC is going to be in this from the start. We're not going to include every single DLC、uh, in the PS5 version just because it's the PS5 version. We're not going to just put it all in and sell it for cheap. We don't, we don't do that. So please don't misunderstand. And so, no, no, not all of the DLC. We will release DLC packs. We're not going to release an entire like, comprehensive pack like that, but, but we will make use of the PS5's additional functionality as best we can. And even if it's a little bit late,、uh, we will add as much as we can to other platforms. And for free, You will be able to get to our final three on the other platforms. Obviously, we can't, it can't be the evolved version. Yeah. We definitely want to do something as far as data sharing. If there was some way we could get things to work on the PS4, that would be great. So, regarding for this, this is what we wanted to、uh, share today. We got to the point where we were about to be able to show a trailer, but then I had found some last minute changes that I wanted to see happen, and so we weren't able to make it in time for today's stream. But soon, we will have a trailer for you. I can say that, right? Next time, maybe before our next stream, we will have a trailer for you. Yes. Okay. Let's move on. Sorry. Looks like the pages are turning on my slides. 
If there was something like a Granzella account, that might be cool. Alright, so let's move on to the Q&A portion. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm going to have a little bit of coffee in preparation for this. You know, I want to show you. There are people waving about this. Okay. Now for Grenze gathering of Granzella's Yamaba. The climax. Yamaba. Yamaba. So the first question. The stage, the multiplayer stage is very difficult. How many people in Gradzilla were actually able to clear it on their own? I'm sure Kujo, who developed it, is able to clear it perfectly. Well, in summer, we added the stage R1.0. And it has about 13 minutes of playtime. And you can't continue. You have to beat it in one shot. And not only as game director, but I also designed that level. Uh, the design, the enemies. I did that directly. I took part in that process. And, and I could beat it. Uh, one in four, one in four times. On average, one in four times. If some people, maybe some people be like, one in four? I'm not that good at shooting games. If you guys don't want a shooting game at my level, it wouldn't be fun for you. Uh, inside our company, internally. Few people have uh, been able to clear the stage. They do have to debug it, so for QA purposes. So you could turn on no deaths and then check it out. So some people take advantage of that to clear the stage. And so they, you know, while crying, as they cry, they beat the game. So it does happen. Uh, several different ships. I tried it with different ships, and in the end, there's some ships that I, you know, feel an affection for, and some that I, I don't. But that's part of the fun of the game, in my opinion. So that's why I want to add more and more ships. And some people like to find the combination of everything that just works for them. So this stage, when you talk about what's hard about this stage, getting to the, sec getting to the second half, like there's just a huge amount of pressure. I'm like nervous as I play it. And it feels like the difficulty is getting raised as you play, but I actually wanted it to feel that way. And in the next update, not today's, but the, the one that's coming this later this year, the R-Type Final 3 update, playing it, you'll be able to play it with six players. Now, if you play it with six players, now, it's, you guys can kind of work together and... We definitely want you to play it. Now, if you ask me if I beat it completely, again, one out of four. Around one out of four. Something like that. I hope that was, uh, I hope that answered your question. <laughs> I've just been talking. I haven't even been thinking that this is being translated. I hope he's doing okay. I am. Thank you. Hope everything's okay. Next. So, this is about Artifact Final 2. 
So on player ships, the decals, we can put decals on our ships, but we can only add 12 at the moment, up to 12. <laughs> I think it's 12. I mean, I wrote the, the game document, but I think it's 12. Uh, but will you please add more? So they're asking if we can add more decal slots to player ships. Hmm. So there will be 2.0. And we prepared an, another ship for that. I'm sorry, let me get back to the decals. So about that, I'll look into it. If we can, of course we will. But, yes. So the person, I was actually the one who decided 12 in the first place because I felt there was a good balance there. But I'll look into seeing if we can add more. Okay, next. This is a request. We'd like to see a thumbnail between stages. When you finish one of the homage stages and when you can change your ship, we sometimes forget which one's coming next. We'd love to see a thumbnail to remind us where we're headed next. I see. Huh. Understood. Hmm. I think that, that sounds like something we might be able to actually do. It doesn't sound too impossible. I'll write that down. I don't want to forget. Next. So for the score attack... We'd like to be able to change... Equipment? So on the score attack modes, ship selection screen, you'd like, you'd like to be able to choose from the album? So basically, I'll need to talk to my team about whether or not they can make the ship album uh, move during ship selection. They can put it in ship selection. Loading is possible. Saving may be a bit of a challenge. So, right now, loading, that way is already, actually, we're already working on that. That might come in the update that's slated for later this year. And for Switch, the loading times are a bit long. We're sorry about that. If we think we can add it, we will. In the, in the update that's coming later this year. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
So for our tech tactics too, seriously, it's tough. There's some very tough spots. People told us, like Gail Rose and things like that. Even internally, here at Grenzella, people did say some similar things. So, Kodori, the, the producer, even asked, can, are you sure people can actually beat this? I feel like we're missing something here. Uh, so, it's definitely difficult. Even after release. <laughs> so, even after we release it, we will have people who are related to the production uh, stay involved. So, yeah. Indeed. So the AI is actually quite different than the original. We're putting it together a bit differently, and you'll be able to choose levels, so we think. So. And Baido t-shirts! We actually got a lot of feedback about t-shirts, and some of them are moving forward. Some of those ideas are, are being moved forward, but I'll look into it. And we'll, we'll keep it the same price, a normal price, a reasonable price. Before we get into that, Gurito Nida, it's a little tough, but there is the I love you baby option before you get into it. Oh, final, final question? Huh? Ah, okay, this will be the last Japanese question, a uh, question in Japanese we take. They want a t-shirt. We'd like this to be covered in your streams, but the PlayStation 5 R-Type Final 3 Evolved is supposed to be released next year, March. We saw this on SNS, but... We were kind of worried that uh, R-Type Final 3 and, Itch and or Switch and PC was just going to be, the development on those would stop. And if that's the case, we're very disappointed because that's, we own that version. We'd really like you to let us know if you plan on ending service or stopping development. No. We're not doing that. We are definitely uh, moving forward according to schedule, and we will continue with the updates. So please, don't worry about that. We have no intention of stopping. And if there's anything you want us to know, please let us know. Yes, we will. Okay. I told my team, definitely let everybody know. So, in relation to this, we did think that this kind of concern might come up. And even on our website, we did write it, and hopefully we made it pretty clear. I guess we were a little bit late publishing the website, but... Maybe it was my fault. I was a little late getting to work on that. But for 2.5, ending at 2.5, not going to happen. It's not a fact. So, please don't misunderstand. We will keep those going. I want to make that clear. Apologies for any misunderstandings, but I wonder if, if Dominic's able to. Translate all of these questions right now. I'm just talking, not even thinking about it. Hopefully it's going okay. But now let's move on to the English portion of the Q&A session. Okay, I'm going to call him. 
大丈夫ですかねミニさんのドミニクさん呼んでみましょうかドミニクさんはいはいすいませんねちょっといろいろちょっと今回はね台本あるんですけど僕が頭に入ってないのでちょっと台本通りに喋ってないとこあるんですけど、えっと、英語の方の質問にあの答えていこうと思いますはいたくさんありますよあはい今ねあの日本語訳をつけていただいてあそうかいつも僕質問ねあの一方的に決められてるんですけど今日は選べる Today I'll be translating、uh, the questions. The English questions will come and Mr. Kujo will read those and I will go ahead and、uh, translate the answers back into English. Which one shall I choose? じゃあえっとこれいきますか6番えっと、Number six. んマイマイティバックフリップさんでいいですかねえっとフォーメーション Z の機体が R タイプに友情出現することはもういつかありえますか<笑> So the question I'm taking is from Mighty Backflip Will the ship from Formation Z be a cameo ship in R type at some point? すごいですね。あえてこの答えていいか微妙なのを選んで、<笑>ここで苦笑いしてます。それ選ぶかって、プロデューサーゴロリンが。People are bad, I pick this one. <笑>もうシティコネクションさんとの話もせずに決めるわけにいかないですけどね。まあでもこういうのはライブのいいとこでしょうから。友情出演しますよ。します。す、uh, はい。Not sorry. いやいや I shouldn't,、uh, shouldn't really be talking about it without City Connections permission, but short answer,、uh, probably. はい。あのまあ、友情出演する方向で、そうですね。アイレムに。<笑>まあそうですよね。あの、もうここで言ってしまったんで、あの、ゴロリンからシティコネクションさんに。まあ、ちょっと既成事実化して交渉だけしてもらいますね。はい。So, uh, it, the answer is basically it signs point to yes. And I hope City Connection doesn't get too mad at me about that. はい。じゃあ次はね、えー、っとね、どれにしようかな。Which one shall I choose next? えー、っとね、こう四四番答えにくいけど、一旦四番これなんて読めばいいですか、バナーなんて読めばいいですかね、四番の方。バナガンバナガンさんからです。<笑>違う。いやだってそうです。えっと R タイプファイナル3エボルブドと。R タイプファイナル3の最終的なアップデートの違いは何ですか、uh, So the question we're taking is from Vanergand. What are the differences between R type Final 3 Evolved and the eventual update to R type Final 3? ちょっと最終的なアップデートの違いっていうのはちょっと分かりにくいんですけど、えっと、プレイステーション5についてる機能以外の部分はえー、と両方に同じように、えー、更新追加されていきます。For all features that are going to be added、uh, that are not exclusive to the PS5, those will all be included in the R-Type Final 3 update. で、まあ、えっ、ー、と、プレイステーション5版っていうか、エボルブドで、そのプレイステーション5固,固有の機能っていうのは、あのちょっとその他のプラットフォーム版には持っていきにくいかなとは思ってます。There are certain features that we will be including in the PS5 version and evolved that might be a little bit difficult and not translate to other platforms. はい。じゃあこれ、<笑>この10番とか
十番えっとえっ、ー。はい、10番、はい、なんて書いてあるの斎藤大さん、嘘かな、えっと、ニーサが R タイプタクティクス、コスモスをパブリッシュするんですか<笑>これ僕が答えることじゃない<笑>。はい。The、next question is from <笑> Saito Lai,、uh, who asks, <笑> Will Nisa be the one publishing R type tactics Cosmos? <笑> And, uh, uh, Kujo san says,、uh, I don't know if it's okay for me to answer that. これはここで約束してください、ニーサさん。<笑>ここで契約の話をしてください。<笑> okay, that's it. You guys are going to answer and it's going to be a verbal contract. You guys are, Nisa has to publish it. Thank you. <笑> Thank you. はい、ありがとうございます。ということで今決まりました。ニーサさん、パブリッシュです。はい。There you have it. It's been decided. Nisa will be the publisher of r t y p e Tactics Cosmos. ありがとうございます。じゃあ,あのドラフトを送ってください。よろしくお願いします。Please send us, please we'll be waiting. Thank you. <笑>はい。じゃあ次、最後の質問だということですけど。えっとね。This might be the last question of the evening or the day. Which should I pick? えっと、PS5 ユーザー、あ、ちょっと待ってください。1番、ブルーさん。PS5 ユーザーもエボルブドにアップデート可能ですかそれとも別売りですか ?Next question is from Mr. Blue or Mrs. Blue or Miss Blue.、Uh, will PS5 users be able to update to Evolved or will it be sold separately? これはこれはそれこそそうですね。ちょっとまあ PS5 ユーザーっって言って言も今あのプレイしていただいているのはプレイステーション4版になるのかなと思いますので、えっと、ちょっと原則論としては別売りっていうことになります。Uh, so it will be、uh, it, it, PS5 users won't need to update to PS、uh, to Evolve it will, it will come that way but it will be sold separately from the other platforms versions of R Type Final ですね、まあちょっとここのところはちょっとあのもうちょっと詰めていくことになりますけどその建前としては基本的な別売りだと思っていてください。あそこから少しずつ足して、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと言葉を言うと、ちょっと And we do want to do something to add save data、uh, to make it so that you can bring your save data over to this new version. はい。ということで、はい。じゃあ、えっと、質問コーナーは、えっと、ここまでということになります。I think、はい、we'll go ahead and wrap up the QA session. で、今日取り上げれてない質問に関しても、あの担当部署にきちっと伝えますので、えーとまあ、今日取り上げられなかったことについてはご了承ください。So,、uh, for those questions we were not able to get to today,、uh, they rest assured they have been conveyed to our various heads of departments that will handle,、uh, handle each thing. So, we will answer them、uh, at a later time. はい。では、ドミニクさんありがとうございます。引き続き通訳の方よろしくお願いします。So, there you have it. はい。ということで、そうですね。Usually we have a bunch of our staff. まあちょっとこれ僕はあれなんですよ。いつもの質問で、割とこうスタッフが複数人で選んで選んでくれたやつをポンと見せられるんですけど、まあ,あ選べるから<笑>選べるから楽なんかと思ったら意外と答えにくい質問が<笑>あって。何がすごいってドミニクさんがすごいですけどね。はい。Oh, we will let our heads of staff know.、Uh, ということで、ちょっと質問。Don't worry about that. Please look forward to it. でも、あの、Now, next. 担当部署にきちっと伝えますので、あの反映さできるものは反映していきます。Next, we have our announcement session. よろしくお願いします。で、次が、えっと、お知らせ。So, I have this on paper, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. こっちのコーナーですね。はい。
これがね僕ね<笑>ちょっとカンペ露骨に読みますよこう紙でねもらってるんです内容が分かってないとこあるんで, つっていうことでっはい4つあるそうですじゃあ1番目が<笑>これ英語はあるんですか英語のフリップはあるんですか I feel like a movie director. 今なんかすごいディレクター。We actually have English slides prepared for this, but we just forgot to add them, so. あ、英語のフリップを準備してたのに、ここに入れ忘れてる。今気づいたみたいです。こんなんだって英語。え、uh, so... ちょっとドミニクさんに頑張ってもらおうとか言ってます。So、すごい。えっとね、ちょっと何のことかっていうと、えっと、R タイプタクティクス1、2、コスモス、追加コンテンツ制作プロジェクト発足。えー、と R まあ読んでるだけですね。R タイプタクティクス1、2コスモスでは、えー、追加シナリオ、ミッション、追加機体などの追加コンテンツの制作販売を予定しています。追加コンテンツ制作についてキックスターターでのクラウドファンディングの実施を予定しています。詳細は決まり次第ウェブサイトで,ですね。なんかすごい僕の説明より歯切れが悪いんですけど何かというとですね、えっと、R タイプタクティクス12コスモスの制作はクラウドファンディングとは関係なくあの制作してますので。これは出ますで、えー、と12と後日談的なミッションというのもあのクラウドファンディングと関係なくゲームに入ってますんで,でそれとは別に追加のタクティクスに追加の DLC を作ろうとしてます、ね。でその DLC 作るのにキックスターターでのクラウドファンディングを。予定するだからゲーム本編はもうそれとは関係なく出しますけど、uh, will... さらにちょっと僕らの機能に関して、えー、クラウドファンディングで、uh, decided, を、えー、11月にで、ね、行うということらしいです。で、あの決まり次第、えー、グランゼーラのウェブサイトとかお伝えしますということです。でねこのカンペにね、衝撃のリワードには、リワードって要するに支援していただいた方にえとお渡しするそのえとお礼の中にはですねアシスタントディレクターとして R タイプタクティクス1、2コスモスの開発に携わり、DLC 部分の制作員が書かれて月1回のグランゼーラの開発ミーティングにも参加できる権利。っていうのがあるらしいですあと自分自身が提督として物語に登場する権利がさまざまなリワードを用意しています。ちょっと僕もあんまりピンときてないですけどね。まあ、アシスタントディレクターとしてあのミーティングに入っていただくのはなんか良さそうです。あの先週、全ためでね、いろいろ意見いただいて、結構面白い意見いただいたりもしますんで。すごいですね。月1回、定例ミーティングに入っていただくアシスタントディレクター自分自身が提督として物語を通すのは嬉しいんかな<笑>これは悪役で出るかもしれない。キースン手司令官みたいに悪役で出たら嫌や。嬉しいんかな、まあ、っていうのがあるそうです。はいあのまあちょっと詳しく決まったらお伝えします。でこれが11月来週とかに情報を出る。来週、再来週。来週に情報を出るそうなので、huh. あのお楽しみに。That's, uh, アシスタントディレクターは。That's a lot. I don't know how far that's going to go, but we'll see. なんかあれですね。なんか支援金高そうなんで。We will uh, have the crowdfunding for the additional content only, not for the main game. <笑>はい。なので、クラウドファンディングを、えー、実施します。追加の分ですからね。ゲーム本編はそれと関係なく出ます
<笑>しかも英語のフリップもないしなんかあやまなそう、グランゼーラが、ファンコミュニティ、沼勝に私たちが石川県で金沢とか野々市にあるんですけど、富山県のあの南都市っていうその石川県にすごく近いところにスタジオがあって、でまあいろいろ情報交換とかいろいろ相談をしてるんですけど、ピエワークさんがですね、沼
will be there as well. But it's an anime manga festival. What is Grand Zola doing there? Can we be there? Can we sell our games there? Grand Zola が出展するんですか？ガタフェスに。でもアニメ漫画フェスティバルです、so, uh, いいんですかゲームを出してもらいいんですかあ、だそうです。で、えっと、11月19日土曜日、新潟市中央区。That's a town. ちょっと待って、官邸を。新潟市中央区、古町、ルフル広場。っていうところで、グランゼラがブースを。っていうところで、えー、グランゼラがブースを出しますそうですね、ファイナル2ポイント。漫画とゲームがあるから、まあ、漫画って言えなくもないですけど、まあ、ゲームもいいそうです。で、アルタイプファイナル2、2.5、uh,、雑学クイズ大事、私有できます。あと、絶対絶命都市カレー、20周年カレーが直販だ。So, もうこれが最後じゃないですか。多分これで在庫がなくなっちゃう。So, はい、なので、えっと、新潟の方で、so, って言っても新潟もあれですよね。南北というか東西にすごく長いので、新潟市まで遠いかかったりとか。Well, ですね、ガタフェスぜひ来てください。That'll be a collaboration. 新潟ライス is delicious, you guys. 新潟米と絶対絶命都市カレーコラボか。そうですね。新潟米と絶対絶命都市カレーコラボか。そうですね。上越とか行くと、上越とか行くと、上越とか行くと、上越とか行くと、上越とか行くと、上越とか行くと、上越とか行くと、上越とか行くと、上越まあ、もっと長いんでしょ上越からだと長野の方が行くと。そうですね。長野市からの方が。少なくとも鉄道で行くのは長野市からの方が行きやすい。うそか。新幹線は高崎で乗り換えるか。So, really、はい、なのであの、私たちもなかなか新潟でイベントに参加することはな,ないんですけど。あのぜひ、うん、私はこれは連れて行ってもらえないんですかあもう全然ないんですか、oh, 可能性がかなり大きいです。ぜひ、食べ物シリーズ第2弾はありますかあるんですかおでんとかあるんですか考え込んで,ですか、okay. はい。留守番ですね。<笑>アーカイプファイナル2フォトコンテスト Thank you for all of your entries It was great じゃあ次をお願いしますえっとアールタイプファイナル2フォトコンテストあたくさんのご応募ありがとうございますすごいですね so, フォトコンテスト、we stream, はい、で今日これの発表かと思いいたら、so、次回発表しますという告知だそうです優秀作品が多すぎて全校が難航してるというのが理由だそうです。<笑>まあ私もちょっと見せてもらったんですけど、まあ、ちょっといつもはこんな理由やったら怒るんですけど、確かになと思ってまして、あのすごく、あれすごいなと思ってます。これ南極、昭和基地からの応募は結局はあなかったんですか他の国の南極の基地からもうないんですか海外の方の応募はあるんですあ、海外の方の応募はあったそうですけど、昭和基地の方っていうか、南極、well, 南極にいらっしゃる方に、本当にグランゼラが T シャツを送れるのか試したかったんですけど、南極からは応募なかったそうです。So, なんでこれは、えっと、次回時間を取って優秀作品を発表する。T シャツもお送りしいということなのでちょっとご応募いただいた方にはお待たせして申し訳ないんですけど、えー、今しばらくお待ちくださいという。How much is the,、uh, the shipping fee? How much is that? That's a good question. Are there zip codes? 送料いくらぐらいなんでそうですよね。南極に送ろうと思ったらどれぐらいかかるんですかね住所って。郵便番号とかあるんですかね Do we send them via FedEx? <笑>どうやって送る
えだ誰が運ぶんですかフェデックスとかが運ぶんですか Sorry, I guess I forgot how many cars. 料金調べた方がいいかも。Is there a postal code for that? ちょっとホッとしてるかもしれない。Is that b a c k o n music a little bit louder? Okay, we're approaching the end of our stream. 大丈夫ですか So, we'll tell you a little bit about what's going on. 終盤となりましたので、ちょっと。ということで、次回の予告をさせていくいただくなるかな。Uh, so the next will be on November 25th at 9 p.m.、はい、That'll be our next stream. えっと次回は11月25日金曜日の午後9時から Please,、uh, clear your calendar. になっております。Mark it in red. はい。And today,、ねえー、ちょっと予定を開けできれば開けておいてください。Change, 赤色です。はい。本日もご視聴いただきありがとうございましたとても楽しかったです。スーパーチャットありがとうござドミニクさんを呼んでください。フリップはめくってください。はい、ドミニクさん、今入れますかねドミニクさん、あはい、はい、ありがとうございます。ちょっと長時間になってちょっと大変だったと思いますけど。<笑>いやいやそんなことないですよ。あともう私もちょっとなんていうんですかね、<笑>あのファンの方とチャットを見てたらちょっと脱線しまくってましたけど、<笑>すいませんね私の歯切れの悪い話で通訳しなかしにくかったと思います。そんなことないですよ。あの、はい、日本の話でとても、えー、楽しかったです。ありがとうございます。ガタフェスとか、<笑>はい。新潟のガタフェス。<笑><笑>まあちょっとニーサさんからあのアルタイプファイタクティクスコスモスをパブリッシュしていただくことも決まりましたので、はい、<笑>非常に、ね、非常にこのライブ配信の成果がありましたの、ね、で、ありがとうございます。今一度あの皆さんドミニクさんに改めて拍手をパチパチパチパチパチ。Thanks, everybody. ありがとうございます。ではこれからもよろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。はい、ということであのちょっとそうですね。あキリーテイトクさんあ戻ってきて。So、today was a bit longer than usual. Thank you for sticking it out. And a lot of people showed up. Thank you.、はい、では、あの本当に今日はいつもよりすごく長かったんですけど、uh, so、たくさんの方が見ていただいて本当にありがとうございます。ちょっといつものようになんかつ,つたない進行で申し訳ないですけど。We were really, really uh, thank you. まあちょっとね、so、<笑>これ。この番組がやっててもやる前はすごい緊張するんですけどね。あ,ありがとうございます。あ、竹谷テイク八エリさん。So、あ、何回もすみません。ありがとうございます。はい、ドミニクさん。あのあれなんです。毎月打ち合わせはいろいろ相談させていただいてご協力いただいたりするんです。はい。まあいろいろ決まってものが決まってよかった。でご視聴いただきありがとうございます。Uh, changes, あの寒くなったり暑くなったり寒くなったり寒くなったりして、so、yourself, 気候の変化がすごく激しくって、uh, and... 体調を崩しやすい時期ですから、あの皆さんちょっと体に気をつけてください。それでは、石川さん、唐揚げ弁当さん、すみませんね、何回もありがとうございます。Yeah. お疲れ様でした。Unique、結構寒くて、石川県は。そうですね寒いですね。寒さが独特です、ね。寒さが独特です。大阪出身なんで、同じ温度でも一段寒く感じます、ね。So, uh, なんで皆さんも。では、えー、R-Type f i n a l 2のエンディング曲の一つ、シンガーソングライター飯田舞さんの「ともし火」を聴きながらお別れとさせていただきます。さようなら。
sheep by my leg.